I kind of see myself in in the um, um, in the foreseeable future, just trying to help out as many people as I can with spinal cord injuries and um, offer the my experience um, of being in a wheelchair, try and uh, boost their confidence and their uh, awareness and uh, try and let them live a, a long and healthy, exciting, adventurous life. This is James Heckner. For some lucky enough to know him, this is Jimmy. Others unlucky to know him might call him Jimbo. Today is James's 40th birthday. 40 is an impressive number. To give you an example, here is 40 pennies in a jar. This is what 40 looks like. And to me personally, it's never looked better. James is like super hot. And I know he's your boyfriend. But everyone's like, who's James? And they're like, oh, hot James? I'm like, yes. He's handsome. First time when I saw him, oh my goodness, he's really handsome. Well, first of all, that beard is phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, I kind of deep down man, man crush. <laughs> God, you're old. Still good looking though. 40 years ago, this picture was taken. 20 years ago, this one was taken. Both photos representing birth and a life so well lived, you'd have to see it to believe it. I, obviously I struggled after I got sick and he was such a good influence for me. He never pushed me to do anything, but he always um, offered. And I think if it wasn't for James, you know, I don't really know where I'd be. He's the reason why I'm out doing the things that I'm doing today. James is this guy that truly cares for other people. You can see it in the way he talks, but you can also see it in the, the stuff that he does. He likes to go out and do things but he wants other people to be able to go and do it with him. He's got such a go-getter attitude. He can put, uh, that's a, a positive spin, and he can um, and give you the assurance that it can be done. James is unique because of his love for adventure, how he identifies himself as a person before being a person in a wheelchair. There's just not a lot of people like James. Uh, he's, he's one of a kind. I don't know, I just want to hang out with that kid all the time. You just want to be around him. He's just that type of person. I first met him when I got injured at GF Strong. Right then and there, it was like, all right, let's get outside and go for a will. Just, you know, just very positive and he got me going to the gym and doing things, uh, I guess, out of my comfort zone. It was uh, just getting out and doing stuff and meeting new people, meeting, you know, positive and just awesome people. He harasses the hell out of me, but I love him when it comes down to the very end. It's someone that you can trust and someone that has a good heart. And someone had just mentioned, hey, you have to get to know James. He's like the, the go-to guy to know in the area. He's an everybody's type of guy. Everyone wants to be around him. Yeah, so I think it's just what makes him him is just, again, that honesty, being up front. Age isn't how old you are, but how old you feel. I embrace the lines forming at your eyes because they are proof of how much you smile. You live outside the perspective of time and show us the fountain of youth is in the connections you make, the lives you change, and the moments you create. He just rolled up, said hello, introduced himself, and after that we've been friends ever since. He's taught me to be a little more who you are and that your disability really shouldn't affect the activities and the stuff that you do. Which before meeting him, I thought, you know, in a chair kind of defined 
I don't know, I, I just I didn't feel like I could be myself as much until I met him. He's shown me that literally you can live your life in a chair no different than how you are if you're walking. That you just deal with it as it comes and move forward. The way he can light up a room without even knowing it. He brings out, I don't know, the best in everybody somehow without having to. Your uh, positivity is infectious, man, and uh, it rubs off on everyone around you. He's just been a true friend, and in many cases, helped me improve my attitude as a disabled person and as just a regular person. James has an energy that is, how do I put it, it just seems to be out there and you just kind of grab onto it and go for the ride. James Heckner? What an asshole. <laughs> James uh, leads by example. I uh, trust in James's honest opinion on things. Also, he's very encouraging um, to uh, push your limits and to uh, strive for what you want in life. He's an inspiration to all of us. He's very helpful, very willing to get everyone out doing different activities. And everybody looks to James for, you know, leadership. You want to do something, you know, you go to James. He's always uh, doing something interesting, which makes being around him interesting. What makes James James? Uh, demeanor, energy to put all this stuff uh, together uh, with Accessible Okanagan. Just uh, bringing everybody together. That's probably uh, the biggest quality that uh, I like about James. Uh, Lawrence, what makes James, James? We have made James, James. <laughs> <laughs> when I met James, um, when I first met his dad, he came over to the house and we had a great talk because David was having a hard time with James being in a wheelchair. And he said, Trudy, my dad has to move on just like I have to move on and I found this young man what he's been through is so strong and I learned a lot from him just being around him. Well he is a very determined person to help others. He's um, kind and thoughtful, very intuitive to how they feel what they're going through through all these years, he has learned to make other people benefit from what he has learned. Once James um, got out of the hospital after his accident, and, uh, and it was a very difficult time for me, but James is the guy that really put the, the uh, the pieces of the puzzle back to the, together for me. Yeah, it's awesome to see how he's grown, in, not only in this role in the wheelchair, but grown personally to the challenges in life. He's achieved a lot. He does what he wants to do. He doesn't let anybody make decisions for him. He, he's his own man. I, I'm proud of him for that. He's definitely made my life easier. He's made my situation more acceptable to myself, not to anybody else. To be able to get back doing things that I love doing, uh, it's a, it's a very, it, well for myself actually, it's a very personal, <laughs> way. Uh, is there a way of ever thanking him? I don't think there is. I don't think he would want it either, um, but I'm very appreciative of it. Thank you.
advice for James? <laughs> Keep up what you're up doing because if you have that attitude in your life, you're going to enjoy it. Happy 40th, James, and many more. Love you. Love you. Yeah. Take care. Cheers. Yeah, there's a little box called Just for Men. I hope to be like you when I grow up, James, um, when I get to that age. Eat more fiber. These next five years will probably be the most incredibly busy late years of your life. You know, more so than teens, more so than when, uh, you know, uh, jobs and careers first getting started. This is when uh, you really start um, tackling yourself. Just live long and prosper, I'd say. And see Alice. <laughs> <laughs> Just enjoy today and make today the best. And that'll make tomorrow even better. Happy birthday, dear James. Happy, come on. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! <laughs> well, you know, he's a little younger than me, you know, we should, you know, start to have kids. <laughs> Get into the swing of things. <laughs> he's not getting any younger, so... Proud of you because you're awesome. You do the right things. I don't know, just, just look at you. It's easy to be proud of you. Not hard at all. But get yourself a young girlfriend. Oh, wait, that's good, so... <laughs> Act like you're in your 20s. We must get drunk to you in Nashville. See you soon, and Lord Jesus and the Bibli, have a good one. Happy 40th birthday, Uncle James! I think he's doing a great job what he's doing. He's James. We just watched the Game of Thrones season finale, and it started me to think about this title, James Clifford of House Heckner. The first of his name, the slightly broken, protector of accessible Okanagan, motivator of handies, inspiration for the able body, provider of equipment, talker of smack, but in the end, a good friend to many. <laughs>